Hey YouTube, um, this is just a quick video to say what the fuck, as you can see by the subject in the line for this video, jailbird, jailbird, uh, romance? I think not. Um, the only reason I'm doing this video is because I got a letter today from somebody, I'm not going to say who they are or where they're serving their time at. But I got a letter today from somebody, and they want to be my pen pal and actually correspond. But, you know, they're all asking me, like, are you single? Are you looking? And in my ad, it clearly stated on this site they found it that I was, that I was in a relationship, that I was with somebody or married, basically, and was not looking. So, therefore, they still chose to ask me if I'm looking for somebody. And they also wanted me to call to make arrangements for them to be able to call me and to email them through the prison's like webpage because it's more convenient for them. Okay, for starters, like for convenience for like people in prison, I don't think I need to bend my back and actually make it convenient for you to be able to talk to me. If you can't take the time to write me a snail mail letter and send it through the mail then you're never going to hear from me because I don't like emails and I won't do phone calls. Because you know what? Those prisons caught, like, they charge, like, a lot of money for freaking um, phone calls and stuff. Like, minimum for the one that that guy's in, they want, like, $100 minimum for phone calls. That's ridiculous. I can't afford that. Fixed income people cannot afford to pay for that shit. I'm sorry, but I ain't doing that. I ain't wasting my money on uh, talking to somebody in prison that is looking for a relationship, and I'm not. I'm just looking for friends to write to, not relationships. Um, not of that nature, anyway. So, I don't know if any of you out there have used, like, these pen pal sites and shit, but they... Some of the people that answer your ad are just fucking stupid. Because, you know, some of them are in, in prison. Um, some of them are asking for freaking money, like donations and shit. Or wanting you to pay for them to go to school or some, something like that. I've actually told people off through my email saying, I ain't gonna send you a damn dime. How dare you ask me for money? For your schooling? Why can't you get a freaking, like, um, scholarship? As far as I know, you know, if you're going to school, uh, or wanting to go to school, you can get scholarships to help pay for your tuition and anything you need for school. You don't need to ask people you don't know for money for school. So I think that just flat out is just a scam to get money from people. But it's ridiculous. I'm sorry if I sound a little irritated, but shit. You know, I've had this happen to me over and over again. I've gotten freaking letters and things from people that are looking for jailbird romance, and I'm not into that. <laughs> I'm never going to be into that. I'm happy with who I'm with. I'm not going to freaking break up or divorce the person I'm with to be with somebody incarcerated. Because I've heard of people being stupid and doing something like that, too. There is women that have done that. They've actually married somebody that's never getting out. What is the point in that crap? Why would you want to be married to somebody that's never getting out of prison? You're never going to have a life with them. <laughs> I'm sorry, is the phone sex that good? <laughs> I'm, I'm serious here. It's like, what is causing people to want to do that is beyond me. I know you're probably saying like, well, if you're complaining so much, why are you willing to do it at all? Um, I'm willing to write people that are straight up and honest with me and don't, you know, try to hide what they did and stuff too. Because like four of these letters in a row that I've received, not a one of them has came out and told me what they did. I had to look them up online just to know who the hell I was going to write. And when I found out what they did, the last three, I, I basically threw their letters in the garbage. And they never got an answer because I was very uncomfortable with what their charges were. You know, they, they did something that I'm 
very against and I don't want to have anything to do with somebody like that even even if they're saying they they won't ever do it again you know I've heard that one too oh I'll never do it again but people have gone out you know when they get out of prison and done it again so you, you don't know who's telling the truth and who's lying so anyway I'm done ranting for a while um, Subscribe if you haven't to my channel. I do all sorts of different videos um, daily, actually. Um, give me a give me a like, dislike if you don't like this video. Honesty is always appreciated. Give me a comment what you think, you know. And please please don't like talk down to me because I I write people that are in prisons because there's not just me that does that. So. If you're going to be like an ass and say something mean like that, and I see your comment, it will be removed. You know, you don't have to get rude with me because of that. You know, I'm just venting because I feel like it's not right, you know, to hide things. And I definitely don't think it's right to ask when you know the person's not single, if they're looking for somebody. And it definitely ain't right for a stranger to ask you for money. So, anyway, um... I'm out of here for now. If you want to enter my giveaway, the address to do that will be in the description box. I'm giving away a $10 Dollar Tree gift card and a $20 MP3 player from Walmart. Um, the, the actual drawing for this is not going to take place until September. So you got plenty of time to send me snail mail for that. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here and stop blabbing. So. You guys have a good day, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.